Hello friends, welcome back. After using Zenfone 3s Max for more than 30 days, in this video I will be showing you the unboxing and full in-depth review about Zenfone 3s Max. So without any further ado, let's get started. After opening the box, you will find Zenfone 3s Max on top. So beneath that, you will some booklets, warranty cards, or informations, and all those stuffs. Beneath that, you have the Voltac adapter, which is 5V to 2A. You have the micro USB to USB data cable. They are also providing the Xenia, that's good to see. Apart from that, we also got SIM ejector too. So let's keep these things aside and see the overview about the smartphone. So on the right, you have the volume rocker key, power on and off button, which feels really premium. On the sides are it's really metallic and the quality of the metal used is also really good. On top you have the 3.5 mm jack and there is nothing else in the top. Learn the left hand side you have the SIM ejector tray. On the bottom we have micro USB port, primary microphone and a single size speaker. The front is covered with 5.2 inch curvy 2.5 D glass. Above the display you have the sensors, proximity sensor and 5 megapixel front facing camera. On the rear you have the ASUS logo and 13 megapixel front facing camera with dual tone dual LED flash. The new and improved design looks really good. The metal unibody and the curved edges feels really premium. It has a fingerprint sensor at the front which also acts as a home button. So let's check out the specification about the smartphone. It has 1.5 GB octa-core MT6750 64-bit processor, 3 GB RAM with 32 GB inbuilt storage, 5.2 inch HD IPS display, hybrid SIM card support with 13 maps a rear facing camera with dual 20 LED flash, 8 maps a front facing camera, fingerprint sensor, micro SD card support with 4G OLT and it has a huge 5000 mAh battery. So in the initial boot up, we have a 23.43 GB of inbuilt storage left. So out of 32 GB, 24 GB is approximately fine. And the best part is it is running on latest OS, Android Nugget, Android 7.0. It just has 720p display because most of the smartphone under 10,000 rupees is offering a full HD display, but this smartphone is selling for 15,000 rupees and it still sports the 720 display. So that's pretty uh, average in my opinion. The display is bright enough and the legibility under the good sunlight. And the viewing angle is also good the colors may not be that much punchy but still the color accuracy seems more on the average side also despite being an HD panel the text appears adequately sharp I don't have any complaints in using the smartphone I've been using the smartphone for more than 30 days and my, on my daily usage I didn't find any lags in the display or uh, any sort of color distortion the smartphone is powered by MT6750 octa core SOC and it has a 3 GB RAM for the smoother functioning and initially I didn't felt any lag with the smartphone from the past 30 days I've been using this device and I've installed a lot of apps I really don't face any major issue throughout my usage even with the few apps running in the background multitasking was going like ease and I really didn't face any issue switching between the apps in the split screen mode as well because it is running on Android Nugget I tested this device with Reliant Geo OLT and I've been using Reliant Geo OLT all along with the smartphone and it feels really good the call quality is amazing with the smartphone even the sound quality and the multimedia performance is also really good even though I'm not a big fan of the mtk processor but still this smartphone performs really well in gaming i tried playing a couple of heavy games with the smartphone and a couple of times i also felt some light eating issue because of its metal body but still it is under control and the gaming performance is also really good and the 3 gb ram does a decent job as always it is loaded with a lot of options in the camera section so let's check out the, some of the sample images and in-depth analysis about the camera Coming on to the camera section, I expected a lot with this camera. So the camera performance is above average. Under bright outdoor conditions, the 30 megapixel camera rear facing camera performs a really decent job. But in the low light conditions, the camera struggles a bit. The sensor isn't able to capture punchy colors or not crispy details. Close up shots looks average. Overall, if you are a casual camera user, this smartphone can satisfy your needs. Let's talk about this key aspect of the smartphone. It's USB. The Zenfone 3S Max is mainly based on its battery capacity. Apart from the uh, previous editions, it's just a 4000 mAh battery. This smartphone has 5000 mAh huge battery. It is really good enough for running your daily task. In a couple of days, you don't need to have to worry about the charging your smartphone. Asus claims that the battery life is good enough to offer you 28 hours of talk time on 3G and up to 25 hours of web browsing or time over Wi-Fi and all the stuffs. I really use this 
smartphone over uh, 4G Volte with Reliant Geo continuously and it still holds up me a couple of days so I really don't care about charging this smartphone for uh, then and now. So this smartphone does hold up the hype regarding the battery so the battery life is pretty awesome in my opinion. So if you are a person who is really heavy usage and looking for a perfect smartphone with fingerprint sensor and which is really portable and you need a bigger battery without any compromises on the uh, design aspects so this smartphone will does a job for you as you can see it has a fingerprint sensor at the bottom so it's very convenient to use in one hand you don't need to use a couple of hands just like the 5.5 inch display this is just a 5.2 inch display so it's very portable and you can just use this in one hand i might feel sometimes the uh, fingerprint sensor is not that great uh, especially in the initial startup but once you are done with that the fingerprint sensor work like his and you are finding a lot of uh, customization option because this is a zen ui which is running on android 7.0 so you have a lot of customization option the battery life feels really good so if you are looking for a smartphone with good premium design and really handy with bigger battery and a brand value you can go for the smartphone but if you are a person who is just looking for a smartphone with good camera performance and heavy gaming this smartphone might not be the good option for you so i hope this video was helpful but if you are planning to buy the smartphone i will leave the best buy link in the description so do make your decision based on the pros and the cons about the smartphone hope this video was helpful if it does do it the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this this is thames signing off hope to see you in my next video